I want to make some personalized tags for the scrunchies that I made for my daughter's nursery staff. Hi, my name is Bianca and welcome to my channel Be Silver. So I did a quick search online on how I could actually make some scrunchie tags and everything that I found wasn't exactly what I was looking for. Either the shapes weren't right or I had to pay for certain designs and it wasn't something that I wanted to do. So let me grab my computer and show you how I made them. I'm going to be using Design Space, open up a new project. On the left hand side I'm clicking on shapes, putting in a heart shape. I've decided on the size of my heart just by holding up a ruler to one of the scrunchies that I made and it looked to me that a 2.5 inch heart on both sides seemed about right. So you need to click on the padlock to unlock the sizes so you can introduce the size that you want and I'm putting in 2.5 inches in both the width and the height box. I'm then going to duplicate the heart as I want to have a fold over tag and that means that I need to rotate one of the hearts 180 degrees so that I can clip them together. I'm now putting the hearts roughly about an inch away from each other, selecting both hearts, clicking a line left and then weld so that they stay together. I'm going to shapes again putting in a rectangle and I'm going to click on the padlock to unlock the sizes and like that I can decide what size I want it. I'm making a long rectangle just so that the ends are well within each of the hearts. I'm going to select all, align it to the center and then click weld. Okay, that looks like a dog bone, but that's okay. When it's folded over, it won't look like it. I'm going to change the color of the background as it will be easier for me to see the text when I place it over. And I'm probably going to use pink cardstock as well as brown cardstock. Now I'm going to select my text. Just bring that box up so I can see what I'm doing. And I don't really like this text. So here in the font, I'm going to search for another one. Unclick kerned here. And by the filters, I'm going to select a writing font as well as free font. And I have decided to choose the first one, BFC Grow Over. Now I just want to write a thank you note from my daughter to put on the tag. And I'm going to write thank you for playing a part in who I have become. There we go. Just bigger to the side and now just reduce it. And I'm going to put it over the heart to decide on sizing. Well, I'm going to change the style as well as I don't want it to write the outlines of all of the letters. I just wanted to write a single letter. So there you go, that looks better. A little bit smaller as I want to leave some space at the top to allow me to staple both hearts together. Be centered to me like that. I'm going to select all and and attach. I'm now just going to rotate the tag as I want to also write a little something on the other side. So I'm going to rotate 180 degrees. I'm going to insert another text box. Let me bring that text box up. I just want to include that it is a handmade gift. It's too big. I need to size it down. Get over. I'm going to make this text really small as that is not the focus of the tag. It's a thank you tag. Right to me. So I'm going to select all and attach that when I go to make it, it will cut and write at the same time and not separate the two. Now I want to get six tags on an A4 paper. So I am going to reduce my tag to five and a half inches. This is because the size of an A4 page is eight and eight and one quarter inch. And on the other side, it's 11 and three quarter inch. So I'm going to make the tag about five and a half inches long. And then I'm going to duplicate so that I can get the six made on one page at the same time. Now I'm ready and I'm just going to click make it. 
and now I need to grab my Cricut Maker. So I'm going to select my um, material to select on a mat. I have a 12 by 12 inch mat. Continue. I'm just going to rearrange the tags here so I can make the best use out of an A4 page. I'm just bringing one tag down to the bottom and continue. Now I'm going to be using my blue mat, some pink cardstock and also some brown cardstock. I'm going to select over here as base material, medium cardstock, leave the pressure on default. And as I've said, I've already loaded my 0.4 pen in clamp A and fine point blade in clamp B. I'm going to take one cardstock, place it over my mat, press it down a bit. And there you have it, a quick tag. You can obviously change the dimensions to what is suited to your project, as well as changing the text in it. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you would like to know how I made my scrunchies, please make sure that you check my previous video. I'd like to thank you for watching and bye for now.